Never imagined I would fall in love with this trade. I joined it purely for money and the ability to give. My best to the woman that I love and to a dream of a family. Seven years later and I'm head over heels. This is the way that I serve my community. And in turn, I get to explore my city. I harness the element that gives life so that my country folk can live comfortably alongside me. I always wondered how adults can work at a job that's not their dream for decades and not be miserable. I'm not sure what it was like for others, but I can tell you exactly what it was like for me. I started off by despising this trade, but three years in, my father hands me a sawzall and says, go put that line clean out in that PVC drain. I walked away all on my own, I cut into the drain and installed it. I stood back and I realized I didn't fumble, I didn't doubt, I wasn't afraid or insecure. I put that clean out in without hesitation and at record speed. That's when it dawned upon me. It was that exact experience where it just clicked. I love puzzles and that's why I love video games. I love logic and that's why I love chess. So it was inevitable that I would love plumbing because I encounter new puzzles and deduce strains every single day. Those are both things that I seek out to have fun. And those are both things that my job requires of me. So that's why this line of work satiates part of my soul. And because of that, I'm absolutely blessed to be in it. I see this in my father as well. Just ask him to assemble a drain. You'll see his excitement and intensity go up. He starts moving faster, but not to be fast. He starts thinking quicker, but not to be quick. It's just that the engine has turned over and that's how it purrs. He's a builder. He lives for these puzzles and life is mundane without them. So he's ready to take on the challenge. He's ready to calculate lengths. He's ready to troubleshoot leaks. He's ready to snake and auger drains. He's ready for what the day has in store. So when he comes to a puzzle, all cylinders start firing and every muscle in his body is saying, please release me. Plumbing is fast, so in service you usually get to work on something new almost every day, which means you get to step away from yesterday's challenges and you get to take on today's new ones. In other words, service plumbing is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. The variety of work is something a lot of us really learn to love, so if variety is what you want, plumbing's definitely got it. You also end up becoming friends with a lot of superintendents because you inevitably spend a lot of time with them. So there are some buildings I'm always excited to go service. I know everybody's order from Tim Hortons. We buy lunches for each other. We give gifts when we hit milestones. It's really amazing how close you get to people through work. And when you go to buildings like this, you don't really feel like you're working. You feel like you're solving a puzzle with a close companion. Camaraderie is a big deal for our mental health. And although there is definitely tension on some job sites, camaraderie a lot of the times helps us through it. It's nice to go places where you're wanted and welcome. It's nice when people have your back. It's, it's nice to share war stories of jobs that you struggled with in the past. In those moments, you realize you're more alike than you are different because all of you have one thing in common. Work. There's always a sense of adventure when you're heading out to a new job site. In the back of my mind, I'm always curious what I'm going to find. A lot of times, it's a toilet I've encountered before or another fixture I've seen a million times, but every once in a while, you feel like you strike gold and you see something truly mesmerizing. For example, Dad and I installed a $15,000 toilet once, and let me tell you, you don't know anxiety until you have to lift a $15,000 toilet and mount it to a wall. Dad and I service this one house whose fixtures are anywhere from 70 to 100 years old. Each of these faucets looks like an antique, and we have to take out 
all the cartridges, re-greased them, and put them back in. I met a fellow Canadian that was born and raised in Scotland, and she spent time showing me all of her father's old plumbing tools. These were water stethoscopes, interesting wrenches, and beautiful torches. And every once in a while, you have an absolutely terrible experience in a job site. And every time you drive by it, you turn to the person next to you and you say, Man, do I got a story for you. There's a sense of confidence and pride you gain by getting good at a skill. That's what the story about the saws all represents for me. It was the first moment I didn't struggle and I was flooded with positive emotions because of it. The reason I despised the trade of my first two years was because everything was hard. Pushing my body was hard, carrying tools was hard, cleaning fittings was hard, snaking drains was hard, and I had to work approximately 600 days, almost 5,000 hours before something became easy for me. That is a long time you have to keep convincing yourself not to quit. And that's why you're proud, because you understand that those 600 days would have been easier if you left but now the trade is easier strictly and solely because you stayed and staying was up to nobody but the person in the mirror and once you get good you then start to develop efficiency once you develop efficiency you start to develop detail the craft slowly creeps into your being and weaves into your soul and before you know it you walk around with a badge of plumber proudly on your chest you wake up in the morning and you get to look forward to your skills the puzzles and the logic the variety and friends and the adventures of the trade that's why I love this career and that's why I call myself a plumber. These are the reasons I love the trade peeps. This is why going to work is easy for me. And I hope in whatever career or trade you choose that you learn to love the everyday rituals that accompany it. I didn't love the trade coming in, but I learned to love it. And I love it because even now it challenges me to be better. There are easier jobs out there for sure, but my problem always was the easier the job was, the faster I got bored. And you have to believe me if you haven't experienced it, but for me, a boring job is way worse than the job that's difficult. Boredom can eat at your soul until all that's left is madness. And it took those experiences to realize that if I'm bored, I'm in the wrong spot. So if you're thinking about changing careers but you're scared, I get it. You're comfortable and this is unmarked territory. But there's a reason the voice whispers in your head. There's a reason why you're watching a vlog about plumbing. Whatever decision you decide, I wish you the best of luck. And remember, your heart is chasing fulfillment so eventually you're going to find it. Trust yourself. Trust the process. We believe in you. And of course, grab your channel lock pliers and let's go do some delicious plumbing.
peeps, that is a kitchen sink done from beginning to end. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. The clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed